Thanks for tuning in to another episode on Fat Kevin Gaming Channel. You never know what we're going to have. Farming Simulator, Airport Simulator, Cities, Skylines, American Truck Simulator, a new one, Beam NG. You never know. Hey, check it all out. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here's a short little clip. Hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks as always for tuning in. everybody to another episode of Fat Kevin Gaming's American Truck Simulator. Hi, um, so we all know, let's go ahead and back out here, just in case you're new, we're free as the wind right now. Which means yes, of course, here let's turn the music on too. There we go. Alright, so we got the flashes on and backed in here got unloaded and all that good stuff in the last episode and I can't hear some stuff let me do something real quick alright truck uh, radio volume we're gonna turn down a little bit I want y'all to be able to hear it but you know there we go. Alright. So we all know I have, and, and those new to the channel or new to this episode, I've been pulling this tanker trailer. But we're up here in, um, let's see if we can, here we go. There's the map. We're up here in Lewiston, Idaho. There's a problem. I went to figure out what to haul next because as soon as we got here, you know, it says here you can do this. Well, guess what? They don't have nothing in Lewiston, Idaho for me to haul. Yeah. So I started searching this way. And I can't find nothing close. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Um, let's see. Let's see. Does it give me the option? Doesn't. Okay. So, literally, I would have to go through this whole list and find the nearest place to me, which is Kennewick, uh, cured. But I got to thinking of something else I could do. I just got to remember how to do it. Almost tempting if I was to... Got to go all the way over there, but I'm at 141,000? Huh. Ready Let's do that. I guess we're going to empty. Oh. There we go. I don't remember uh, what I'm using for. Uh... Need to make sure I'm good here at the guard sack. Yeah, we didn't get nothing. We're going that empty. Thank you. All right. Turn right. Turn left. Make sure we weren't going to hit that. I don't think no one's coming that way. No, no one's coming that way. So we're good to roll. Turn 
All right. Let's head over here and get us another load. We got 350 miles empty. Get ready to turn right. Uh, it said we had like eight hours, a little over eight hours, or right in the eight hour mark to get there. So turn right. Let's see if we can get this load. If not, we're going all this way for nothing. But that'll be all right. What a hundred and forty-one thousand dollars. My opinion, it's quite worth it. Yes, I'm running a little fast. Same on me. I need to slow it down. I just seen how fast I was running. Whoops. Guys, I get to pull in the scale right outside of Lewiston here. Okay, let's find a new route. Just before we pulled in there, just be them to jump up to 60. So we're gonna roll. We got places to be, we got people to go, we got loads to go get. <laughs> all this traffic now and I got places to go. Isn't that the fun part of it all? Get ready to turn right. Why is my truck not stopping? I hit the brakes. Come on car. There we go. I hate when that happens. Turn right. I hit the brakes and I still didn't stop, so something in my settings on the brakes possibly. I started to do a little bit of a cuts on this and then I'm like man there's a lot of beauty here so if anyone wanted to see some beauty in uh, Idaho you know it's like no I can't do that to them I don't know some people like the water some people don't some people like the mountains some people don't cut it again here in a minute for y'all so you don't have to watch me. Guess we're gonna slow her down. 35. Okay. I'll see y'all in a minute.
All right, we're just about where we need to be at. Figured I'd bring you guys back in and Turn right. see if this load's actually available. Okay, we'll go ahead and make this turn. Engine brakes, trucks. Okay, no engine brakes, guys. No engine brakes. What's going on? We're supposed to be picking up a load going to like Galveston, Texas? Yeah, it's ready? Okay. Where do we need to go to pick it up? Alright. I'm going to go right over here to the corner, guys. Said they'll get to me in just a little bit. They're, they're running on time, amazingly. They'll get right with me. And I gotta walk over there here in a minute and check in and they'll tell me where to go from there. So they'll probably have me back in there here in a little bit to get loaded, but for now. This will be parking right back here. Too long, actually. Now we're on. Time to hit the road. I said the guard will want to just make sure we have the right papers and we're going to the right spot. And then, other than that, you know, he said he'll probably check and make sure that we're not leaking anything. Be a pretty easy exit. Have a good day. Alright, let's get out of here. Hold that window up. Wow, we're at 
the stop sign, there's no traffic behind me. We're gonna run across 90, almost the billing, and then run 20, uh, uh, run 20, okay. Okay, that'll work. I wonder what the difference would be. 2051 versus 1921. Avoids all them back roads. Weren't those the back roads we got in trouble for that one time? We had like doubles or something though. I don't remember. I remember getting in trouble. Wrong type of trailer for current roadway or something. Okay. Drive safe. Well, that's wrong. I think we can roll another hour or two before we really need to go to bed, but not much longer. Hit the wrong button, sorry. Get ready.
All right, so we actually just got a fine. I swore that said cars that way. Didn't it really say trucks? Downfall to being fired, right? Real life, we're in the game. <laughs> okay, I did go the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, we fixed it though, we fixed it. Thought it looked kind of funny, all the trucks being over here and the same cars go left. Alright. Should be okay be right rapid. here. Alright, let's go to bed. We made some more money overnight. How about that? Now, right, let's do a little bit of a walk around. We'll start up here. We can't really open the hood, of course, you know. But our little rotating lights are up there. Our four ways are on. Bright lights work. Oh, no, we can't actually. I'm trying to see how close I can get to like the kingpin there, but. All them lights are working. Tires, yeah, they could be better. These tires look okay. All the lights back here are looking good. Oh, look, there's our. <laughs> okay, we really can't see ourselves. All the lights up top. And truck looks good. I meant for what is it? 17,000 miles. It's looking good. No, it's not that used. All right. I guess we will uh, get on the road. So we know we got to get a little repair work done. Last uh, DOT scale said we had to. But beyond that, that's about it. Get on the road and uh, get rolling. Finding a new route. I know. Our GPS is so upset with us on this. We did get a fine, uh, y'all didn't see it, uh, it was right before I pulled in the rest area here. Uh, we got a fine for avoiding sleeping. It's like, I'm not trying to avoid sleeping, I just couldn't find a place to park. You guys won't let me, you know, sleep anywhere. Because I did have a place I wanted to sleep, it was at a gas station back there that I could have fueled up at, and got some service done on the truck, but there was no blue marker showing I could sleep on that exit, so, guess what? I didn't pull off. So yeah, we're gonna get rolling. We got 1,685 miles to go. Alright, so driving through Denver on our way down. I've been, so I found this, uh, got the truck fixed whenever I was at the shop. Uh, stopped in Sh Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, fueled the truck up because I was pretty much out of fuel. Had like 30 something gallons left. And I figured might as well go ahead and get the truck repaired there because there was a repair shop. And you're going to stop the exit. Alright. And uh, so while I was there, um, I've seen other people with these GPSs mounted on their dash. And it's like, I've never seen that anywhere in my game. So I don't know if I've missed it somehow or what it was, but I'm said I like I like the look it makes it look more realistic especially because you know when I do run a truck you know I am running a GPS in about that exact location um, so yeah I was like yeah it's a no-brainer I gotta get that um, beyond that just driving through here uh, like I said driving through Denver um, had someone that personally knows me ask me why I run that sometimes over here on the bottom right. And to me, every company, 
all the trucks I've driven have pretty much been company, except for one. I've done some lease owner op stuff, but one time I owned the truck, um, other than the bank, I'm in the bank and I owned it. It was the first time I did not lease a truck. Um, but even most of the time with that truck, we had a computer in it too. And this was before the days of electronic logs and stuff, um, a few years, just a few years before that. I think they mandated electronic logs in like 2018, if I remember right. But, uh, and this was in 2013, uh, when the bank and I and the wife owned the truck. Keep left. But other than that, we've had a computer in every truck we've driven. So it's almost like having a computer in the truck right there. Because you got the little buttons you can tap and whatever, you know, if you need to get information. And, you know, I can, yeah, it's got the GPS on it too, but, you know, okay, I'm going, you know, air, cargo, aromatics, you know. I can see all the information. So it's almost like having a computer on the truck for me. So, but yeah, if you see that up there, that's why. Um, why do I run the uh, mirror up there? I mean, to me, in the gameplay, it's a little difficult to constantly be using the mouse cursor. Or um, I've got a controller on this one. Uh, you know, a little hat thing here that I can move myself over. It's a, a little bit unrealistic in a way. So, if I could just glance my head over there, you know, it'd be okay. But this seems like it takes forever to glance my head over there in the game. And I mean, that's more than a glance. <laughs> so, that's why I do what I do. And that's why I have that mirror up there. But, just a little side piece of information on this game why I run it the way I do. Um, beyond that, that's about it. We're going to keep rolling down the road here. And we're going to try to get as far south as possible. It does show I'm getting a little tired. I don't know if I'm going to make it in New Mexico tonight, but we're going to sure try. Catch you in a little bit. straight on.
and then turn right. This is just my personal opinion here, but in this game, I've been across more way stations through Texas than I ever have in real life, because it seems like in real life, they're always closed. I have noticed though, my weight in the truck here has gone down. I was 80,700 something, as I burned fuel off, so that's kind of interesting. I've never noticed that in the game. I'm sure it does it, but this is the first time I've noticed it in the game here. <laughs> that last little cut was us rolling through Amarillo a little bit ago. Now we're just rolling through the countryside between Amarillo and Dallas, Fort Worth here. I don't know if this city's actually going to have a name here. Uh, Childress, Texas. There we go. Long time since I've been across this route in real life. I know we've been across it here in the game. Go through Wichita Falls and all that. But it's been a long time since I've been across this way in real life. So I don't know if you guys noticed also over here in the right hand corner where the little computer looking thing is. Um, my money has gone up. I think we started with like 220 or 230,000 when we started deadheading over to pick this load up. Go straight on. And with all my drivers, I've gotten, uh, there's been a few times that I've been while I'm recording here and there, but even when I'm not recording, I've been getting like 5,000, 7,000. <laughs> drivers have been doing really good on, over here for me. So, um, one of the things I'm looking at doing is when I get to Houston or leave Houston, I'm going to go back to Dallas, uh, go to the, to the shop, is I want to get, or Galveston, I said, I mean, sorry, not Houston. Might have to pick up in Houston, I don't know. But uh, I'd like to get back up to Dallas and have a truck ordered if the truck's available to order. But I'd like to get me a... Freightliner. This truck's doing really good for me. Nothing wrong with the Peterbilt. But I'd like to get back in my Freightliner. And not a day cab though. <laughs> um, we've got that Freightliner day cab that we're running out of our Denver office. One of our our most senior drivers is running that one. But I'd like to grab me a Freightliner day, uh, sleeper truck. Go straight on. And start running it. I don't know, I'm a Freightliner person. <laughs> but I've been running this truck. It's if I can it's that little tiny number down there. It looks like 18,000 miles, you know. So I've been running this truck quite a bit. Of course we bought uh, what have we got? We got a Volvo on our fleet now. And we got a Kenworth in the fleet. So we've got pretty the only thing we don't have is an International or a Western Star. I'd go for a Western Star. Those are pretty much the same thing as the Freightliner, except a little nicer. That's what everybody's told me, and you know, I've never driven one myself. But I like the looks of the new ones, especially. But they're so similar to Freightliner on the looks, is probably why I like them so much. Maybe we'll get a Western Star. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, we're on our way though. Just came out of, like I said, Amarillo and Childress. Heading towards the DFW Metro and then I'm just willing to bet it's got me on, gonna have me going down 45 down to uh, Houston, Galveston area. We'll get this load knocked off. Even if 
if I have to dead head, we'll go back up to Dallas. So I thought it was funny here, so I figured I'd cut back in for a little bit. Um, cruising through Dallas, yeah, it's, you know, 7.30 p.m. on a Monday afternoon, but where's the traffic? Um, I just got on 20 off of a 35W, and there is no traffic out here. There's, maybe I need to do what I've heard some others talk about. Um, I've heard some others talk about what the realistic traffic mod, I don't know if that's on the Steam Workshop, but it is, maybe I need to try it. Um, I don't like driving in traffic, so, I'm a, it, but, you know, it'd make the game a little more realistic, I guess. Because... <laughs> It looks like it's 2 a.m. out here, and even then, there's not enough traffic for Dallas-Fort Worth area. But yeah, just an interesting side note. So.
I'll find a new route. Go straight on. Go straight on. So we don't have very long to go. I think we got like 200 miles here. Let's go and do a quick walk around on our truck. What is that? A trash can right there? I seen it when I pulled in here. I wasn't sure. Ah, light, bright lights work. All the wheels look okay. I think we're good to roll. Just gotta make sure we don't hit that trash can. All right. Interesting. Hi, right, I'm gonna. Hopefully, that would get people to, you know, throw their trash away, maybe. <laughs> I doubt it. It's worth a shot, though, right? 211 miles to go. We're almost there, folks. I figured I would come back in and talk for a little bit. Houston, ah, <laughs> this is going to be a totally weird statement. And I might have said this before in one of the episodes. In real life, Houston has so much flipping traffic that it's terrible to drive through traffic lights. But when you got that city skyline right there, this is not a throw out to the game city skylines but I love coming through these cities like this one uh, Houston and Dallas especially in real life when you get all these tall buildings and especially in the evening time and night time and all the slides and I don't know to me it's really beautiful to have all that but I hate going through them when there's all the traffic. I haven't found, and at nighttime, you know, there's still traffic, there's road work. There's no perfect time to go through any of these cities. But nighttime would be my favorite time when you can see all the city lights. And yeah, everything else is a mess. But yeah, all the city lights and all the tall buildings and skyscrapers that the two cities have. I just love going through them areas. I hate LA going through California and all that too, but if I can get in the right areas and see the big tall buildings with the lights, I love it. That, that's the one thing I like about driving through the cities, is if I can get through at nighttime and see all the buildings. Other than that, I hate driving through the cities because of all the traffic. And I don't know how I'm a truck driver hating all the traffic. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like is all the traffic. Whew. Hashtag hate traffic, right? <laughs> How do I do it as a truck driver? I don't know. But I put up with it and somehow. <laughs> Keep left. Keep left. So we're gonna make this delivery here in a little bit. We got like 44 miles, make the delivery. And here's something I was thinking about. Um, I've driven through Texas on this game with Timer 3. And one thing, especially going north out of this area that I'm in, 
they would have in some of these areas they would have hurricane evacuation route or contra flow during certain times and stuff like that they don't have them in the game it would be really cool just to see it I mean, yeah the game would have to have a hurricane come through to use it but you know it's something that's in real life it'd be a neat little detail they could have but I'm not gonna complain about it but just saying it would be a neat detail to have contra flow lanes and you know use shoulder you know at certain times and stuff like that other than that they've done I mean on all these maps in the cities that I know or the states that I know a little bit better because I've been to them a lot they've done really good with the areas uh, of course Texas here I wish you know they had Texarkana and the rest of Interstate 20 but I'm sure that's to come as they get closer to Arkansas or uh, Louisiana in that direction too you know um, getting Interstate 49 with Interstate 30 bill Texarkana area Sorry, I had to come out. Let's see, there we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Gotta show all this. I don't know if I can. There we go. Boat going in. <laughs> show me some water, you know, in a lake, ocean type view setting right here. Oh, yeah, I love that too. Hopefully, Exit you know, right. I don't, I've never been to a Texas beach, so I can't, you know, tell you left. hazardous cargo not allowed on something. But it's funny. Guess what? I've got to go down this road right here with my, oh, it says truck route. Turn so, left. Okay. America the Beautiful playing I'm assuming you guys will be able to hear it in the background Ugh. dealing with the head cold my wife and I both have been dealing with that by the way this is probably the most recent I've uploaded a video as close Go straight to on. possible uh, today is actually Monday this will be a Wednesday video <laughs> so this is the closest I've uploaded a video to the actual day in a while Alright, railroad tracks look good. <coughs> get that window a little back up and get my flashers off. Who knows, maybe I should leave them all. Probably have to Keep deal with it again here in a minute. And then turn left. Sorry car, I need over. Oh yeah. Turn left. Railroad tracks like crazy here. Have I? I think I've been here. Yeah, it shows I've been here on the map. <clears throat> Ooh, traffic stopped in the middle of the road. How about that? Port here and I can't literally stop in the road, you know. Downfall to having a hazmat coming to the port, right? <laughs> I can't stop at every single railroad crossing, I'm sorry. I got aromatics. Alright. Thank you. Ah, said I gotta check in up here Get somewhere. Right. Turn, left. Turn left. Very expand the port 
that way or something later. Turn right. Uh, turn right. There's my other check-in area. And they said they'll tell me here where I'm gonna unload this trailer at. Well, if we get a drive in, we could, uh, you know, do some drop and hooks, maybe. Here we are. Safe here we are. Safe and sound. All right. Where do you guys want us at? Where do you need it at? You're going to have me drop it right over there, huh? All right. Don't forget this is my trailer, so I'm going to take it out of here. You'll have to unload it real quick. something I did whoops they want it over here I think I missed the port stop sign over there on the road Whoops. I don't think I could have came in the other way. Yeah, I could have came in any other way. So. Oh yeah, I could have right there. I think I'll be okay right here. Oh, I don't know if... Um, I backed up earlier. I don't know if y'all were on here when I backed up earlier. Fix something. Oh, it's not so annoying. I hated that backup beeper. I understand the point of the backup beeper, but I hate them. I'm sure y'all hated it, so I got rid of it on the game. I realized I could turn it off. Sure enough, I turned it off. Right. Oops. Go on that. There we go. There we go. get those flashes off for a little bit if I can hit the right dang button you know there we go uh, hit the enter button finish this out excellent with almost 2,000 miles we got a whole bunch of experience points on this one how about that and we level up level 25 instructor how about that current company job offers yeah they want us to do this too all right we got all our hazmat. Uh, let's go ahead and do all that one, I guess. Apply. There are currently no offers. Um, Houston. To, wow. <laughs> it does take us through Dallas. Takes us way up there. That's going to be like one of our longest routes if we take that one. Um, I like the price. But offer expires in 11 minutes. That's a downfall. Houston to Everett, Washington. That's pretty close. That offer expires in 2 hours and 23 minutes. Problem is we gotta get to Houston. <laughs> um let's wait until the next episode and then we've got four hundred and one thousand. Um why I'm sitting here can I get the truck I want? And then we'll finish this episode out. Truck dealers. Freightliner, Peterbilt, Western Star. Uh, buy online. Oh, looky there. Custom configuration. Let's see. Yep, that part. 6x4. 600 is the highest we can go. That's cool. That's cool. Um, 
Alright, that works for me. Let's get our interior fixed up here. So we got the little thing up. I like that better. Ooh, there we go. Alright. Alright, so should we stick with our normal Ooh, that's pretty. I mean normally we stick with black. That's what all our other trucks are. That's not a dark green in my opinion. <laughs> There's that red. We can do a custom color. To me, that's a dark green right there. It's almost black. That's how dark green it is. That's pretty to me. <laughs> or we stick with our normal black. Ooh, midnight. Midnight's black. I like that one. Okay. Alright, let's get our mirrors. Paint and chrome. I like that. Yeah, chrome. I like that. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like that one better. Okay. So we can't get the brush guards like we can on some of the other trucks. All right, let's fix this up. Uh, single chrome, standard. Let's get the. Oh, there we go. All right, that's good. Uh, we want the paint. Yep. Okay. It's like everything's already picked up fancy on this truck. Alright. Um, I guess we're going to go 240, which means we won't be able to run as far. Uh, right and left, I guess. Yep, we definitely want that. Uh, bottom, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, which tires look the best? I like the heavy duty. I like them Vortex too. That's probably what I'm going to go with. I'm going to not mess with the... Um, tires right there. I'm going to leave that the same. Although, I like those, but I don't. I'm going to keep it that way. There we go. We're going to go with that. Alright. Paint. Yeah, we're going to go that one there for sure. Mm. Which one do we like better? That one? Yeah, let's go with that one, huh? Now, for that one, I like the standard, I think. Or standard lights. Uh, I like that one better right there. Okay. I like that truck. That's a nice looking truck. Wish we, I wish I knew how to put like decals and stuff. That'd be really cool. Alright. So we have been putting our truck number on there. Truck uh, 05, if I remember right. Alright. Confirm. And purchase. All right, and I bought that without having to <laughs> get a loan. Um, so yeah, um, let's get another one since we're right here. You know, the thing is, I don't need all the horsepower on that this one. Oh, look at how much money! Man, we just saved a lot of money right there. We're gonna go truck 06 on this one. Is this really our sixth truck? Wow. Um, what else can we do? I'm at BD13. Um, 
Man, there's no hope, and I still go. I never ran, so to no man, I still go. We'll go premium. I mean, mm. Premium's nice. I mean, it's seven thousand dollars more. There we go. <laughs> Beyond that, I like everything else. I don't think anyone else will do be running the lights like I will, so ah, purchase. We'll send it to this yard, to that truck. And there we go. Alright, so we'll have to get up to uh, Fort Worth. Unless I can figure out how to do this later. I have to trade out trucks, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching Fat Kevin Gaming. We'll catch you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another program by Fat Kevin Gaming Productions. Hey, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll catch you on the next episode with Fat Kevin Gaming.